you guys so i'm back with another video and this one i'll be showing you how i do a purple look i guess so let's get right into it if you can't tell by now my favorite color is purple to create this look i'm going to use the perception palette by shayla and ColourPop, and this is how it looks i just love this packaging and if you haven't seen it like a million times this is how the inside of it looks really pretty first i'm going to start by applying the mac pro long paint punch pink pot and laying low all over my eyelid and this is just to help the eyeshadow stick better and to pop a little bit more blend that out the first color that I'm going to use is cultural I'm going to put that all over my crease. And I just like to use colors in my transition to kind of blend everything together because I don't want it to look like I have like just one color or it doesn't really flow smoothly on the eyelid. So if you use a transition color, then it'll kind of help to make it flow better. And then to deepen up my eye, I'm going to use the color Played Out. And this is this color right here. And I really want to smoke out my eye. So I'm going to start with the outer part of my eye and pack this on. And I'm starting with the outer part and then I'm kind of pushing it inward. And I'm just really making sure that I blend this color out really well. And I'm really not trying to put it on my lid because I'm going to put another color there. I really just want to focus this in the crease. So I am going to take it all over my crease. Make sure that you're blending out those edges because you do not want any harshness on this dark color. I'm pretty much just packing it on so I get the deepness that I want. You can always go back and add more if you don't think that it's dark enough for you. Okay. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to the next color. And I'm gonna, on top of that, I'm going to apply the color Shade. And it's this color right here. And I'm going to try applying it without spraying my brush to see how it looks. Oh yeah, it's really nice. And I'm pretty much just putting this all over my lid. I'm going to spray my brush just a little bit just to see if I can intensify that color a little bit. Now it looks really sparkly. When I sprayed my brush, it helped to make it get that sparkle that it has. And this color does have fallout, so you might make sure that you won't put down either some 
setting powder or you want to do this before you do your face makeup because you probably will mess up your face makeup if you put do your face first a bit more of the color played out So that's pretty much how it's looking right now. I'm gonna go ahead and do my other eye off camera and I'll be right back. And just to put a little pop of color in my crease, I'm gonna apply the color September in the corner of my eye, just to put a little color in there. All right, so that's what we have so far. I'm gonna go ahead and do just like a little line. I'm gonna go ahead and use the e.l.f. Intense Ink Eyeliner. I'm just gonna do a little line. I'm not gonna do a wing because my eyes are pretty much intense. So I don't really need the wing. move on to my face and the foundation that I'm going to be using is the L'Oreal Infallible up to 24 hour fresh wear and I got the color 525 and I this is my first time using it and this is the container I'm not really sure if this is a good match for me but I'm gonna go ahead and try it out I just like to put it on the brush that I'm gonna apply and I'm only gonna use one squirt and see how the coverage is and in this foundation, they did not have like a lot of options. So, because it was between this color and another color and the other one looked really orange. That's why I went with this color. Go ahead and use my second pump. And it does have like a fresh kind of smell to it. It does not smell like makeup. This is the coverage of two pumps. All right, the concealer that I'm gonna use is the NYX Got You Covered in the color Sand. And sometimes concealer feels kind of sticky. I don't know if it's just me. Use my Juno sponge to blend it out. And I'm gonna use my famous Sasha Buttercup. I really need to find like another setting powder. I really want to try the new Fenty setting powder that's coming out because I always use Sasha. So don't get me wrong, it's really good, but I just kind of want to try something else. Let's set my smile lines also because they tend to crease. I'm gonna use my Wet n Wow press powder in the color Dark Cafe, just to go ahead and brush that powder off my face. This is my Black Opal True color Foundation stick in the color black walnut to contour. Pretty much the same thing I did in my last video. 
put a little of the Maybelline concealer on my nose. Then to set that contour, I'm using my CoverGirl Queen Collection in the color Ebony Bronze. Make sure that you contour under your chin. I'm going to go ahead and spray my face. The Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. The highlighter that I'm going to use is by the Crayon Case. And it's the Honor Roll Highlighter. And this is the packaging. And you get a lot of product. Look how big this is. I mean, wow. Do you see that? It's huge. And I'm going to put a little bit of this in under my brow bone. For my blush, I'm using my e.l.f. blush palette. Use this dark plum color right here. All right, and for my lips, I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with the color Pop Lippy in the color K. All right, and then I'm going to use the liquid lipstick by ColourPop in the color Mamamita. Mamamita, I think that's how you pronounce it. And it's a really dark burgundy color. And then I'm going to use this Brilliant Bronzer by BH Cosmetics. And I'm just going to go ahead and bronze up my face a little bit. Alright, so this is the look right here. And you can also go a little further and add some, add some eyelashes if you want. So I'm going to go ahead and put the Maybelline Total Temptation mascara on my eyelashes and i'm gonna apply these little elf looks lash kits and i think they were only four dollars at target so these would be great if you're just starting with lashes and you don't want to spend a lot of money on some lashes and i'm using the duo script lash adhesive in a dark color and what i normally do is i Put it on a lash, spread it out evenly, let it dry a little bit before I apply it to my lash, so I blow it. Then I just stick it, I pretty much start in the middle and then I go from there, so I stick it in the middle of my lash until I get it to stick. Then I just go around and press it down on my lash. I also like that it comes with this little lash grabber thingy and it helps you to go in and you can go and press your lashes with the false lash and that helps it to stick better too. Then I just go back with that mascara and blend them in. Yeah, guys, so this is my final look. It's really dark. It's really purple. It's really deep. And I don't really do looks like this. So I hope that you enjoyed this look. And I hope that it was helpful. And I will see you on the next one. Peace.